just turning 647 on your Wednesday. Welcome back. Fall is officially here and not only will it be feeling like it this week, parts of West Michigan have started to look the part as well. I've seen uh, leaves this color yeah, already almost there. Yeah, so drought stress has actually made some of our trees already start to change colors. Meteorologist Amber Twardy live on the weather deck for us. Amber, good morning to you. How could the dry weather continue to impact fall colors this season? Good morning, Emily and Tanner. We have been seeing some of those colors already starting to change some peaks of oranges and reds in the tree line, but unfortunately that early change of fall color could spell a less than stellar fall color season. Some of the species that are more prone to drought stress, you might have a really vibrant colors, but you're going to have a really short window. They're going to turn and then they're going to drop. So when we're talking about drought, that does spell a less than stellar fall color season a lot of the time because of that early leaf drop, but it's not the main factor here, or at very least there's other factors that do play into this as well. The main ones when we're talking about trees changing in the fall has to do with shorter days and also going to be seeing cooler temperatures during the overnight hours. That sends a signal to the trees that it's time to stop producing chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment that we see in leaves. It also allows for that chlorophyll to break down when we get those cooler nights and longer nights too. With that being said, the chlorophyll breaking down, that does allow for the other colors to start shining through. So the reds, oranges, those are already technically there. Those compounds are already in the leaves. They're just masked by the chlorophyll. So once that green breaks down, those other colors do start to shine through. In terms of vibrancy, sunshine is the key factor here. If you get a lot of sunshine, you can end up getting these really vibrant fall color seasons, but a lot more cloudy, rainy days can result result in a muted fall color. So if we get a good amount of sunshine this year, despite the drought, we still could end up getting a pretty vibrant, nice and bright fall color season. It just looks like, unfortunately, that could impact how long the leaves actually stay on our trees. We're on track uh, for much of the state um, with average time, but uh, the West Michigan, Central Michigan areas where we've had more drought, maybe a little earlier and shorter this year. So early to mid-October. So when we're talking about drought, that would result in a shorter fall color season as well as an earlier arrival time of that peak fall color. But another factor that plays into this too has to do with wind when it comes to fall storms. We already saw some storms the past couple of days that produce some pretty gusty winds. All you need is a couple of good fall storms to be able to knock a lot of those leaves off the trees and that ends the show pretty early. As we head throughout the rest of the season, we'll keep you updated as to our fall color status. But right now though, live on the weather deck, I'm meteorologist Amber Twardy.